here is how you can master body weight dips. Being good at dips is going to mean that you have a really good chest, shoulders and triceps. You're going to have a lot of lean muscle mass. The first step is to make sure that you're really good at push-ups. Push-ups are a great exercise to help with the dip because it's a very similar exercise. If push-ups are too difficult for you, then you can try them on your knees. But here are some more specific exercises that you can try to help you achieve the dips. If your wrists hurt during dips, then try your wrist wraps, just like I've got on here. How you put it on is you put the thumb through the loop, wrap it round, pull, and then on the strap. Don't do bench dips, they're bad for your shoulder. You can see that the angle my arm was at doesn't match the top angle of the dips. If you can't yet do bodyweight dips, then the best alternative is to have your feet on the floor. But of course, these can be too easy. So there's two ways that you can make these more difficult. The first way is by trying to lift up your feet as you're doing the dip. So then when you're strong enough for the dips, naturally your feet will lift up. The second way is to put your feet in a way which stops you from squatting. Include putting your feet out in front of you as you're doing the dips. And you might think that's quite similar to the bench dips. Because we're doing it on a bar, then our hands go straight down rather than out behind us. The next exercise to help you unlock your dips is going to be dip negatives. I love this exercise. It helped me achieve my dips. But when I used them, I was already pretty skinny, so I could already do a few bodyweight dips. But I wasn't quite able to do enough to build muscle or have enough stimulus to build strength. So what I did is when I did the dips, I'd do a set of five that I wouldn't be able to do anymore. So what I'd do is I'd just go to the top position, slowly lower down, feet on the floor, stand back up. And then I'd do that around five times. Now, even if you can't do dips, the negatives will still be a great progression. And to progress these, you want to get slower and slower. Now that I've given you all of these exercises, you should be able to unlock your body weight dips. Now you're good enough at regular dips, you're going to keep working this until you can do around 15 reps. Now I know that's quite high for a lot of people, but dips, you want to make sure you're comfortable with them so you don't risk getting shoulder injuries. Now, for body weight dips, what form should we be using? So here's the form that you're going to want to use in your body weight dips. Let's start off with what you should be doing with your arms. How deep should you be going? Some people say you go to the 90, some people say you go really deep, and some people we see don't go really deep because it's dangerous for your shoulder. Now whether it's dangerous for your shoulder or not is always individual. So for me, I can go really deep. The next form tip is going to be the range of motion of your body. So a lot of people think you should be going back, holding them forward, or some people think you should be trying to do them straight up vertically like this and they end up getting like a chest injury or a shoulder injury. So what you should be doing well, with your abs, you want to make sure you're flexing down on them the whole time. Your shoulders, you don't want to protract them or retract them. Just leave them in a neutral position, especially don't retract. This will be really bad. The only reason people think you should retract them is because it's good on bench press for lifting a lot of weight. What should you be doing with your legs? In an ideal world, my legs would be perfectly straight during the whole thing, but the floor gets in the way. And for a lot of people, you're probably using dip bars like this. So if you can do dips with your legs perfectly straight and don't get in the way of your dips, then that's great. For most people, you're probably gonna want to bend your knees like this. It's not ideal. I would rather not bend my knees, but if I don't, the floor's gonna get in the way and it's gonna limit my range of motion. So now you know what good form is, and I assume that you can already do around 10 to 15 reps of dips, preferably 15. But I don't expect much, many of you to wait. Everyone wants things fast, so you can do this at 10 if you want. How can you make them harder? You can get resistance bands, you can put them around your neck. Mine's actually broken. It should be joint here. But, and then you just put them in your hands. It's going to make the dips harder because it's going around your neck. Another way you can make this harder 
if I put my dumbbell in between your legs or by using a weight belt but if those are still difficult or you don't have access to a dumbbell you can get some books and put them in a bag or what I used to do is I used to put dumbbells in a bag because it's quite awkward to hold them between your legs if you also want to master the pull-ups which is like the back counterpart to the dip then I also have a video on this which I recommend checking out the thing is about weighted dips is that there isn't really too much else to talk about so you do the weighted dips right let's say you add a small amount to start off with let's say three kilos you can do that for around 10 reps and then you can start adding a little bit more weight and you just want to progress this to like big numbers like some people hit crazy stuff like 100 kilo dips so if you're training dips for the strength side of things then i'd say do five to ten reps and when you achieve 10 reps try and add around what like three four kilos or however much weight will take you back down to that five that's if you're all like an intermediate so you know you're not advanced right if this advice is not for advanced if you're trying to use your dips for building your chest and your shoulders then i recommend a 10 to 15 rep range is probably going to be the most effective and a deep range of motion if you can do that would be really nice but don't try and strain yourself if you don't think you can do it then don't like bother doing it of course you can try lift your arm up see how deep you can go and if you think oh that's not too bad i can do that comfortably you can give it a try but if you feel any pain then stop immediately you may hear a lot if you watch fitness content on youtube about how bulking is going to make you stronger and how cutting will make you weaker now whilst they are not wrong when it applies to bench press then the leaner you are actually makes the exercise easier for you so here is the dip routine that i recommend i did not actually use this i did similar things to it but if i had had this it would have rapidly increased my progress if you're doing this routine to build muscle then i recommend being in the three sets of 10 to 15 but if you're doing it for strength then three sets of 5 to 10 is probably going to help you a little bit more now if you're doing this on gymnastic rings then it's going to be a little bit more difficult than regular dips and they can be a great progression to increasing the difficulty if you're already good at ring dips you can try what's called bulgarian dips these are really going to isolate your chest and when you get to the advanced level with the weight to dips i recommend slowly adding a little bit of weight each session or each week depending on how fast you can progress